Hi, this is Mr. Roche. Um, we are working on the number guess game, and I um, I wanted to give you, I guess, some some you know notes so you could get this going over the weekend and in other assignments. And um, let's see. So right now we're just working on setting up the game, and what we're basically doing is we are um, we're going to create a frame which we did in class, and then we're going to add a class like uh, a second class to it to um, make it make the game show up so so like like at the end of this um, what's gonna happen is uh, I don't really need you to get the the, the text here um, but what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a button you're gonna somebody's gonna in, input a number you're gonna tell them yes or no up here and um, and we can work with that and we're also gonna try to get a uh, window that's a different color so really if we actually get the second window to show up um, that would be great and that's that's what we're gonna do so um, let's start, um, let me just start from the beginning um, and get a project going. If you already have your project um, and you have the main frame window, that's great. Um, this is a quick review of it. Okay, so you go new, you say Java project. Um, I'll say number, guess, um, game, like video, because we're making videos here. I'm running Java SE8, which is good if you have something from the Mac uh, world that's not good, but this is great. So we'll do this, um, and you get this right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna hit SRC, and I'm gonna make a package. Okay, it's good to sort of put things in packages. Um, I'll call it num guess um, game um, pack uh, video pack. So um, so it just sort of helps when you have a lot of copies of the of the game or something like that going on that you don't have conflicts. So we'll do that. And now I've got my uh, number guess video game pack. And in that, I'm going to make a class. So I can use the class button, or I can go up here. I'll push the class button, and I'll call it a number guess game uh, video. Okay. Uh, Java language classes are always capitalized. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow that convention. And um, I, since I need something to run the game, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this main box and get the main statement that's gonna pop it up for me. So here we go, boom. Okay, great. So I get that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of the comment. <coughs> and what I get is I get a method here called main, and I get a class block, um, which is in, like the mains inside this class block called number guess video game. Okay. So I can code inside main, um, and what I want to do is I want to make this thing called a JFrame, which we did in class. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say JFrame, okay, which is a class reference. So it's, so it's telling the computer I'm going to make this variable called, um, called myFrame, which is a JFrame, and it's going to equal new. So that's a call to a constructor. It's telling the computer to sort of build one of these using the JFrame class. So I'm going to go like that. This is, a, this is a call to a constructor, and, um, and the constructors for JFrames allow you to put the, um, the title of the, of the bar, of the, of the window in there. So I'll say, like, you know, hey, uh, play um, this great number, guess, game. Okay. okay, something like that. Okay, so that's good. So that's a statement, and what's going to happen is the... Um, the um, computer can't figure out what a JFrame is right now because my program doesn't have reference to this JFrame class. The quick and easy way to solve it is to go up to um, Source, Organize Imports, and what it'll do is it'll add, it'll, it'll, it'll run through the Java library, finds the JFrame um, class, which is in Swing um, JavaX, and it will um, it will put a reference to it. Okay, so right now I still have a warning because I haven't used the JFrame or my frame. And um, here I go. So I can say my frame um, dot. And then what happens is if I have a legal class, it'll tell me all these things I can use. This is this is great. These are all methods that are available. See how many of them are? There are tons of them. Okay. Some are overloaded. An overloaded method is one in which there's the same name for the method, but they take different arguments. So this thing. Um, you know, it takes a string called property name, it takes a byte, it takes a byte, you guys know what bytes are, and it returns void. Um, this one takes a string, it takes a car, which is different than a byte, 
in the car. And this one takes a string and a double and a double, a string and a float. So what it's doing is covering all the data types, but you can you can just call it this thing. So you can say fire property change, whatever that means. Um, and we can use it. Okay, so some of these you have to look up. Um, what's actually sort of interesting is if you click on um, something like we need set size. So I'm going to click on that. What it'll do is it'll explain what it does. See, it says resize this component so it has a width and a height. That's great. And we want that. So I'm going to pick that. So I'll double click on it. So cool. So it wrote it for me. And then what I need to do is put, um, right now I'm going to just, just run it on a number. Okay. So I'll say like 800, um, like 300, something like that. Okay. So I had to give it two ints. That's cool. Everything's fine. Width and height. That's fine. So you can also, um, on, a, on a frame, you can go my frame um, dot, there's another one called set location, which will be the location on the, well, actually, actually, let me do this first. I can go like this. Um, there's one, once you do this, um, last uh, thing is to show the frame. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say my frame dot set visible. And that's going to be a boolean, okay, variable, okay. And let me see what it did wrong here. What's its problem? Um, oh, I didn't say boolean. I got to say true. Sorry, not just like boolean. Like boolean is not boolean. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and if I run it like right now, what's going to happen is it's going to make this like kind of gray Mac system window. See, so yeah, this is like what you get with a Mac. Um, and it put it up here in the corner because I didn't set like a location for it. So if I go like this and say my frame dot set location, okay. See how it like once I misspell it, like set it's with me. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this, set location. And see this is overloaded here because it can take you can send it like a point value, whatever that is, or I can just send it two numbers, which is cool, okay? So like that, and I'm gonna send it like three hundred. 300. Okay, there you go. So I sent it two numbers. Now I got this location, and when I run it now, turning off the last version of it, but if I run it now, hitting the run button, um, and I gotta save it, um, it goes like that. So see how this is like this is 300 over and 300 down from the top. Okay, this is 0, 0 up here. Okay, and that'll get you your frame. And then what we'll do in the next video is we'll take it from the next step. Okay, thanks.